Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to take a look at moving around in Roblox. So to control your character, you can use the WASD keys or the arrow keys to move your character around, spacebar to jump, and the right mouse button. You can hold that down and drag it to kind of look around using a different camera angle. So let's go ahead and go into our game here. And I'm going to run around our game. I seem to have another player inside of my game. How amazing. And so I'm jumping up and down and saying hi. The other player seems to be dancing around. I'm going to do W. So W goes forward. A goes to the side. S goes backwards. W goes forward. D goes to the right. All right. Sometimes I forget where the keys are because I just kind of move around. All right, space, space, jumping around, jumping around. All right, now, cool thing about Roblox, again, you can look at the different camera angles. Right now I'm holding down my right mouse button, and I'm just kind of like dragging it around here. And you'll notice here I am seeing the different kind of 360 view inside of my game, which is really cool. You can get like a different perspective when you're playing this other character who has joined my game is having a little bit of fun here. And again, really kind of cool. You can just kind of look all the way around just by using your mouse key, holding down the right arrow key. And that's how you move around inside a Roblox player when you're playing your game. Now, going back to Roblox Studio here. Again, same thing. Just go ahead and click on play. And within your world, those keys will be the same. So again, we've got W, we've got S for backwards, we've got A for left, and then we've got D for right, spacebar jumping around. And I'm just, again, holding my mouse key down here just to kind of get that different camera view. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click on stop. Now, when you're actually not playing keys are a little bit different so i'm actually not playing right now again i click on stop so again if i do w i just kind of went in inside of my game i kind of like zoomed in if i want to zoom out i go s if i want to go to the left and if i want to go to the right i go d so again the keys are slightly different if you're not actually playing the game than if you are so WSD commands are a little bit different. Now, let's say I wanted to move my camera up and down. That would be slightly different keys there. That would be the E and the Q. So again, those are different. Again, we can still scroll around using our mouse key. We can go around. If you've got a mouse with a scroll, you can kind of zoom in and out. This is me scrolling with my scroll mouse. And let's say you wanted to focus on an object. Again, you could tap on it and then click on F. And that kind of focuses in on that object. So again, these are the camera controls that work inside of Roblox Studio. And so again, WSD moving the camera, E to raise the camera up, Q to lower the camera down. You can use the right mouse key right mouse button hold and drag the mouse to turn the camera scroll wheel will zoom the camera in and out f will focus on the selected object and if you wanted to really get down in detail you can use the shift key as well the next thing i want to show you is customizing shortcuts so we're going to click on file and then advanced and then we're going to click on Customize Shortcuts. So I've found this to be pretty useful when working in Roblox Studio. So we're going to click on Pan. And we're going to give it a shortcut key here. So again, I'm going to double click on this left arrow key. Double click on that right arrow key. And I'm going to click on OK. 
All right, so what that means, and I'm going to scroll out for a minute here, is that now I've actually reprogrammed some of the keys on my Robux Studio. And if I click on the right button, notice that now it's going to rotate to the right. So I can kind of get that 360 without dragging the mouse. Again, I'm going to go left now. So I'm going like left. Left, 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 left. And notice how this three-dimensional axis has been changing up here based on my camera angle. So this is very useful when you're working on an object and you want to get the different perspectives of it. All right. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.